Hello everyone and welcome to this latest tutorial. Today's tutorial is Terminator Fiend and it's starring Lionel Messi and it's simulating that he's effectively a machine which by his stats, I mean who can argue with that. Uh, it's more of an advanced tutorial so for the beginner or person who's just getting familiar with Photoshop, uh, probably not the video for you however or tutorial however, if you do feel you want to watch it uh, you will learn some things. Um, but go check out my channel, there's plenty on there uh, for beginners, uh, for people to follow along to and yeah, you no time at all uh, following a few of my videos you should be able to come to this tutorial and understand what I'm talking about you can easily follow along and do what I say but um, to appreciate and understand what, what each function does uh, this is probably not that type of tutorial but without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it because it's quite a big document so I'm working on a Mac so I'm going to create a new document I'm pressing command end there. So pixels wise, it's going to be 1200 by 1600. Pixels, 300 pixels per inch, RGB color, 8 bit, and OK. And I'm just going to get rid of that little padlock there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this. So I've got it over here, blue selected already. So this color is 395D7E, 395D7E. At any point uh, during this tutorial, uh, if I'm talking too fast, press key on your, K on your keyboard, it'll pause it. J will jump back or L will skip forward. Anyway, I digress. I'm going to press Alt and Backspace to fill it. And the first object I'm going to add is the sky. So all these uh, will be linked down below. All these stock images that I've uh, obtained. And I'm just going to place it out. And... It's a little bit jumpy. I'm going to go something like that. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay, I'm going to drop the fill down on the sky to 55% so we get that blue colour coming through. It's been very much a labour of love this week doing this tutorial. Uh, nonetheless, I have enjoyed it. Okay, and with these dark clouds, okay, I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And I'm going to bring the brightness up to 35. And 6 respectively. Let me just check that on this one. 35 and 6, that's correct. Yep, I digress. Uh, 30, and I'm going to clip it as well. So it's just affecting the sky. Next I'm going to bring in the ground. Uh, so we've got this foggy muddy wood and I'm just going to place it somewhere around here and uh, I want this this little feature in there as well just adds a little bit of interest I'm going to hit enter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask it so two options you can either use the gradient tool or the brush so I'm going to add a layer mask that's selected hit B on my brush tool and I'm going to select a nice soft brush, flow, pass it to 50 and I'm going to brush away. Okay, I'm going to go with something like that. You can really take your time, get the trees to stand out more if you so wish, uh, but we're about to add some smoke in there so that will break it out anyway. Uh, I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer. And with the curves adjustments layer, I'm just going to drop a pin there. I'm going to slowly drag this down. I'm going to clip it as well, sorry. And maybe drag that down a little bit. So this was what I worked out that looked quite nice on this curve. Entirely up to you if you're using uh, different stock images for different images, but I just wanted to darken the ground up a little bit. And I added a levels adjustment layer as well. Make sure that one's clipped. I'm selecting that button at the bottom. And the middle slider was 0.93. This one was 8, 255. You can see there we've just darkened it up. Next, I'm going to add the smoke. And got this nice colourful smoke here. I'm going to drop that in. Okay, I'm just going to hit enter for now. I'm going to change the blend mode to screen. 
there on my keyboard I'm going to move it and if you notice on this image it's quite over here I do want it a little bit more involved so I'm going to go for just slightly there um, just so it stands out a little bit more and while I'm here I'm going to add a layer mask hit B on my brush tool and same again I'm just going to paint away on the floor don't worry about the color just yet we're, uh, we're going to be changing that so I'm just brushing away there so it's going to look like a bit of an explosion okay got the smoke I'm going to change the vibrance on it so another adjustment layer vibrance clip it again and it's going to be plus 50 and minus 100 there we go so we've got uh, some sort of explosion there you could add fireballs and whatnot but I didn't want to distract away from the main image that is messy on this one what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new layer put that one there and I'm going to hit B for my brush tool D on my keyboard so it changes to black and white on my palette press X again so white becomes the uh, main colour and then I've got this brush from Feelearn okay if you're familiar with my Photoshop tutorials I use it quite a lot um, I'd highly recommend go download it link should be in the description below I hope I don't forget and I'm just going to paint across a few more there maybe that's a little bit too strong and also one below the smoke so select this levels layer so it's underneath the smoke I'm just trying to define it from the sky and I'm going to go for something like that okay any point you can uh, rename these keep these tidy but just for this tutorial um, I'm just keeping it simple next then we're going to get down to the meaty parts now we're going to have the terminators so the T800 so got this T800 here I'm going to reshape him resize him sorry and because he's going to be further back than Messi we want him roughly around there just nudging him up using my keys on my keyboard enter yeah that's looking okay there and this endoskeleton here with the the gun okay he's quite pixelated when he's quite big so that's why I've got him further back and he's going to be a little bit smaller as well and he's going to be stood next to a fire just there and yeah I'm lacking the looks of that we'll, uh, we'll just hide this one so get the T800 endo and we're going to add some Shadow effects. Watch. We're gonna add some shading. Let's add some levels first. <laughs> so with the levels, I did it on 1.14. Make sure it's clipped as well. To our guy, and then this was 17. So just darkened him up a little bit. Helped him blend into the image. Select the endo uh, level again. I'm going to add some shading. D on my keyboard from a brush tool. B from brush. Nice soft brush. It's already clipped. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a fire here with some light on the uh, on the front of him. So the light source is going to be from the front. So I'm just painting on ever so slightly. On this guy just enough to help him stand out again it's entirely up to you how much you want to focus um, on spending on him I spent quite a lot of time on him because I've spent a lot of time on making this image the one I put on my Instagram um, so just give him a little bit of shade in there what we're also going to do is just going to add some shade underneath his leg so we've got the smoke layer there and then shade and so I'm going to call the shade and so I can distinguish them call that one smoke so go to the shading layer okay what I like to do is just flatten the brush okay I'm not too worried 
about um, about shadows being cast off because there's light everywhere from fires. It's quite behind him there, so I've kind of rushed that shading, but um, it's not looking too bad. You can change it to soft light as well, maybe. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Okay, not too worried about it because the main focus is going to be on Messi. And we will add the light shortly. And now I'm just going to do the exact same to this endoskeleton. So I was going to speed it up, but it's okay. Just the levels. I'm going to clip it. And drag it in, just darken him up a little bit. So we've gone for 17.92 there. Let's just drag it in. 250. Yeah, that looks looks better. And again, shading wise, I'm not too worried about him because they're gonna have a light source on him. And he's at the back of the picture. Uh, again, if you want to take your time, add things like um, shadow or dodge and burn, then feel free. Uh, so yeah, what we can also do, we're going to add smoke in front of these guys as well, similar to what we've done in the background, but for now we'll come back to that. So next we're going to do is we're going to add the ash and the light, so we've got different images of uh, fire, so we've got some ash here, and I'm just going to reshape that, I held shift down, I shouldn't have. Place it just there for now. Okay, I'm going to make a layer mask. Next on my keyboard, make sure I've got black selected. Brush tool, nice soft brush. And for now, flow and opacity down at 50. And I'm just going to paint away, get rid of the lines first and foremost. Make sure it is a soft brush. Just paint around the sides. We only have to do this once because we're going to duplicate this image of the ash. And I like how it blends quite nicely into the woods and the sticks. So let's zoom in again. Maybe just increase that up a bit. Yeah, so. Command zero there. Command T again. I'm just going to reshape it. I'm just going to drag it. And I'm just going to set it there. Um, that's our ash embers. What we can do is we can duplicate it by pressing Command J. Command T, bring it up. And I'm just going to drag it across. And I'm just going to drop it there. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Again, what you can do on this one. You can just add a little bit more and just paint away a bit of the ash so it just looks a bit different. So it looks like using a different um, different image. There we go. So it's not quite as contrasting with those two sticking up there. Anyway, I digress. So come zero, come back out there. Go back to our left hand one. I'm going to bring in the fire, so it's this image here, bring it in, hit enter for now, change the blend mode to screen, command T, transform tool, bring that down, and we're going to place it just there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it down behind the fire, sorry, there we go, command T, And that's looking okay. I can't really see that straight line, but if you want, make a layer mask, hit B, and just blend it out a little bit. But that looks okay to me. And for this fire here, same again, but I've got a different fire just so it looks a little bit different. Hit enter for now, change the blend mode to screen, Command T, transform tool, drop it down. And drop it on, and I think that one looks okay. 
don't really need that now so go back to our skeletons t800 endo so the left hand one okay i'm going to add a new layer so again it's already clipped i've got a color up here it's orange color and that is a f1743d f1743d hit okay and i hope this works i hope it's good got the blend drop it down to four Okay, so it's quite strong, but I've noticed on my computer screen to my phone screen, it's quite different. So I'm just going to paint it there like that. If it's a little bit too much, just drop that opacity down. Um, I think that'll look okay, Command Zero there. So the, the light's glowing. I, I am rushing through the tutorial, but you can really take your time to uh, get that glow of the light reflecting on there. And same for the other skeleton. New layer underneath it, so it's already clipped. And I am going to lower this flow down and opacity slightly. Okay, it's not too much drama and underneath the rifle as well so it's glowing there so I, I I have rushed that there I did take my time you can't really see it anyway after I take the camera raw off I did uh, I did take my time on that one command zero and again I'm just gonna lower the opacity it's not looking too great but for the purpose of the tutorial I'm just gonna carry on at this point uh, however what I did promise is we're gonna put some smoke in so uh, again, with these fires as well, you can add more in the background, uh, some little small ones as well. I did add a third one of ash just over here. Um, but again, just for the tutorial, I'm going to uh, crack on. So, new layer at the top, doesn't need to be clipped. And X on my keyboard, I want white. I'm going to go back to that smoke brush. I'm just going to paint across. And just cover up these terminators so they're not quite as strong uh, yeah they're looking good okay what I've also missed as well is uh, light spilling off around the fires so go for the fires and we've got our fire okay so it's got the smoke layer there so I'm gonna call that smoke and then a new layer I'm going to put it underneath it. Okay, I'm going to bring this orange color back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a flat brush. Just underneath the fire, I'm just going to paint some light there. Where the light would be spilling onto the ground. Again, if it's too much, just drop that opacity down or have a play around with the blend modes. Overlay, soft light maybe. Soft light looks nice. Yeah, I like soft light. There we go. So uh, there's our light. So that's pretty much the bulk of our background done. Um, obviously, take your time. Uh, really focus on, um, on what I've been uh, making. But I have been rushing through it because now it's time for Messi. So let's bring him in. And I'm going to drop him down and I'm going to resize him. Something like that. So he's like the leader of the Terminators. And I'm going to nudge him around there. And just while I'm here with that endoskeleton there. So this one. And he should have. Shading. Does it look too much? Can't take. I'm just going to nudge him across so we can see him. Bring him close to that fire and press enter. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, so Lionel Messi. I put him in the wrong place. Let's get him to the top. He's our main focus. Uh, so, curves adjustment layer to start with. Make sure it's clipped. And I'm just going to drag it down slightly. I'm just going to add him to the mood. Mm. 
There we go, something uh, just nice and subtle like that. I'm going to, a little bit of vibrance as well, adjustment layer. And with the vibrance, it's going to be minus 30. He's, uh, he's already clipped there, selected him from the layers and saturation, just plus nine. Again, all these were just what I was playing around with before that I've been spending all week making on this one. Um, feel free to play around with any adjustments if you're using different players that have different exposures and the, the uh, photographs look a little bit different. And we're going to dodge and burn him as well. So, new layer, edit, fill. Where's it gone? New layer, edit, fill. 50% grey, normal, 100%. Okay, change blend mode to overlay. Burn tool. Don't worry about this arm because we're going to chop that off in a minute. But on the keen parts of the shadows, okay, really take your time and focus on giving him a dodge and burn. Um, Something that I've used quite a lot. Uh, if you're new to my channel or you've not seen too many of my tutorials, I did a, which I think is a really good Scott McTomney tutorial. Okay, you can change the size of bushes and stuff. And uh, it's the first time I've gone back to dodge and burn in quite a while. And I'm back using it because I, I do like it. So uh, really take your time. Just rushing. A bit of his neck, his beard, that's coming off anyway. Maybe his eyes as well, under his hair. It's going to get chopped anyway. So, And you can go to the Doge tool as well. And we'll just a little bit on his skin there. That side of his arm. Maybe that side of his face as well. Again, really take your time. All the nitty gritty stuff. Uh, so yeah, just I've just quickly rushed that. But let's have a look. So yeah, it's enhanced it, um, but again, you can do a far superior job by taking your time. Okay, now what we're going to do? We're going to bring in the robot face. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this guy again, this endoskeleton, this T eight hundred. So if you've got that, drag it in again. So we're just going to leave this guy in the background alone. Um, we don't want no trouble from him. <laughs> okay, so we'll have the transform tools up, double click or right click, and we're going to flip horizontal, and we're going to drag the face down and line him up with Messi's face. So I went for this image of Messi just because it looked good because he was walking along, and I saw the angle of his face, and then I saw the angle of the T800. And that's why I'm using this one again. You can, um, if you're using a different player, just type in Terminator T800 or something and look for a Terminator skeleton face or PNG that you can cut out that's similar. Um, look in the same way. Remember, you can fl flip and change them as well. So what I'm going to do is, this T800, I'm just going to get the rectangle tool, path selected, I'm just going to drag and drop like that. Make a selection. Zero pixels, yep, Command J, new layer. If you're familiar with Photoshop, should be nothing new. And then I'm left with his head. Okay, next. Let me think I'm doing this. Yep, so I'm going to hide that layer. So hide the robot layer. Go back to Messi. Select the polygon lasso tool. Uh, where are you? I don't really use it a lot. There we go, polygon lasso tool, L. Set poly, polygonal lasso tool. Now this is probably the best tool to use, so the pen tool, nah, I've gone with a polygon lasso tool on this one. So what I'm gonna do is on his head, I'm just gonna click along, just on the inside of his nose there, round onto his mouth, because we're including teeth in this image. And we're gonna come around, and I'm, I'm constantly clicking, I don't know if you can hear it. Every time I'm pausing there, I'm clicking just underneath his hairline. Okay. Spot on. While these marching ants are still there, re-highlight 
this layer by selecting it. And then I always get this wrong. Add the layer mask and boom, there we go. Happy days. If I didn't work for you or it's too fast, press K right now on your keyboard if you're watching on YouTube or if you're on your phone, just slide it backwards and press J and it'll take you back. Whew. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm going to rename that face so I can see what I'm working on. Right, I'm going to press Command T. I'm going to nudge this around and I'm going to line up the teeth and the nose. It fits quite nicely. I'm going to hit Enter. Hit V on my keyboard too, as we've done with Polygon Lasso Tool. So, need layer styles now. So, I'm just going to double click on the layer there and I'm going to bring up the inner shadow first. So, it's already done for me because I've already done it. So, select black. Blend mode to multiply, opacity to 70%, the angle, play around with the angle, around 136, so it's coming in this way. So if I flip it that way, you see it's come the other way. And let's have a look, see what it looks like at the top. So this time we're going for an angle of go for something around 128. So what it's doing now is it's looking like it's inset inside his face. So it looks like a bit of a shadow. So we've got distance four pixels, choke three percent, and the size is six percent, six pixels. So again, have a little play around, see what you like. I did like the six. Did like the three, five maybe, and then the distance. Gone with three. Yeah, we'll try three, five, six. See that, and use global light as well. And there you go. Just uh, make sure those are selected, and then use the drop shadow as well to screen for the white. Opacity I've got down at thirty percent. Global light again, one hundred twenty-eight percent. Yeah. 127, 128, distance free, spread zero, size four, excuse me, and click OK. And that's our head. What we can do now is with the eye as well, so we can add a new layer. Okay, I've got this color here. So that color is 3ABDDE, 3ABDDE, click OK. B, change that to a nice soft brush far too large and bring your pass it up to 100% and flow up to 100% first and I'm sure that was linear dodge add let's try it there we go one click and should we give another one Command zero yeah just do one click again tile up to you sure edit whatever you want to do um, so that's his face there inset. So happy days. Now we're going to do his arm. So our endoskeleton. I hope you didn't delete it there. We're going to bring him back, and we're going to press Command T. I'm going to flip him horizontal again, so he's back to his original position, and you can straighten him up as well. In fact, we're not straightening him up. We're lining him up with Messi's arm just there, so underneath that captain's armband. And if you need to downsize him, then do. So I'm just using my keys, my keyboard tool there. So I'm going to go with something like that so you can see the wrist joint there. And it's the same again. So rectangle tool, path selected at the top there. Just going to cover it like so. Selection, okay, Command J, endoskeleton done. You can get rid of that endoskeleton now. We've finished with him. You can delete him. This arm layer, where have you gone? I'm going to call you arm so don't lose you. <laughs> I'm going to drag underneath Messi now. And what I'm also going to do, so he's underneath Messi. Select Messi, add a layer mask. Black selected, beefy brush tool. Now we need a nice hard round brush. 100% opacity, 100% flow. Paint up. 
Okay, that's a little bit slow there, a little bit delayed. And we're just gonna paint away. Okay, I have no idea why my uh, Photoshop is delayed. However, press Command Zero. And that is not our arm complete just yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it, Command J, and we're gonna drag this new one above the curves level there. So it pops out, because uh, we want a, the thumbs in front. Uh, however, you can see now it's untidy there, so what you can do is add a layer mask, and just paint away. Now what I'd also recommend is just paint down like so. Careful not to go on the skin. So now if I take that away, you can see we've just added the thumb. And I didn't like the look of those thumbs, so I went back. In fact, stick on this one. And you can just get rid of the long fingers. Just there, the long thumb. It's a little bit too long for my liking. Uh, yeah, so this is now our top arm. Okay, so you can do some dodge and burning. Add some light, add some shading on that one if you so wish. Uh, but for now, I'm happy with how it's looking. Go back to our top level here, which is the light, so we'll call it the eye. And I'm going to add a colour balance layer just to finish off. So this is going to be for the main image. And this is going to be a minus 8 and a plus 6. Just giving it a blue tinge. I'm going to add a colour lookup adjustment layer. Where are you? There you go. And this one is going to be Foggy Night. And, yep, I'm going to change the opacity down to 20%. And in fact, I like 30 just there. Uh, yep, yeah, looking good. So, Command, Shift, Alt and E. Going to convert that to a smart object so I can go back and edit it if I so wish. Go to filter, camera raw filter, and I've already pre saved these settings. So, what I'll do is I'll bring them up again. This entire up to you if you want to use this. So, um, temperature was minus 18, the tint was minus 18. So, I'll go through these, but if you want to pause the video and just copy them, you can. Exposure minus 0.55, contrast plus 20, highlights minus 80, shadows plus 70, whites plus 51, blacks minus 20, nothing for texture, clarity 40, dehaze nothing, vibrance 10, saturation minus 15. And don't believe there was anything else. No, I just... Um, Played around with that, so I'm going to click OK. Adds our filter there, and then as a final one, new layer, D on the keyboard, select a nice soft brush, go with this one here, nice and large, and I'm just going to drop the flow down to 50, and the opacity, and this is pretty much our image complete. Just going to add a uh, vignette just around over the top of Messi there just to emphasize that part, and there we go. There is our image, uh, compared to that one. Yeah, pretty similar, happy with that. Um, on this one, okay, there's a skull as well, but uh, just for the purpose of the tutorial, I haven't had time to, uh, to include it. So, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Go check out the rest of my videos. Uh, I do like this style of um, fantasy manipulation with footballers. Uh, I've seen quite a lot of people doing it. I think it's quite good. And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that like it. Got a good response from uh, when I posted this on Instagram. If you do make something similar, uh, find me on Instagram at TB, at TB Photoshop Tutorials. Uh, give me a follow on there and uh, tag me in any, any edits that you make for your pages or anything. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.